the SUN predominantly is software driven, right? So there's licensing structure uh, that is defined per device. So, uh, and as with most of the SaaS software subscription modeling, there's a three tier licensing structure, like the essentials, the premier, the advantage is what Cisco calls it, for example. So with essentials, you get like basic connectivity type of services, basic security and basic application visibility. As you move up, you get more advanced security, advanced policy, and advanced connectivity options, um, which is in SD-WAN getting more and more critical, right? Where you can have LTE, Wi-Fi, cellular, and how do you pick the right path for the right application experience in a multi-cloud environment? So it's more SaaS-based, three-year, five-year licensing structure that includes the support, next day hardware replacement, um, the smart net contracts that you have, and access to ongoing software innovation um, or the period of the license. And then you have the flexibility to pick where you want to run the software. Uh, cloud hosted that Cisco can provide, on-prem, on a device, as a virtual appliance, um, et cetera, right? So there's flexibility of how you want to deploy this. So the pricing really is dependent on that model and the tiered licensing model. As we go into 2019, you'll see us pack more and more of this advanced security capabilities, application and ban optimization capabilities uh, into this tiered licensing that is based per branch device. Right, so that's how the licensing structure will be.